Welcome to our Lean Six Sigma channel. In this lesson, we will talk about VOC and CTQ. What's in, what is important to you when you order coffee for delivery? You don't want to wait too long. You don't want much added sugar. And you don't want cold coffee. So don't want to wait too long. Don't want too much added sugar. And don't want cold coffee. Are what's important to customers. But, but these are expressed from customer, customer's viewpoint. Don't want to wait too long. Don't want, uh, don't want much added sugar, and don't want cold coffee. These are what we call the voice of customer, or VOC. VOC are needs and expectations expressed in the customer uh, language. The other example of VOC are complaint must be answered promptly. The invoice must be correct. VOC are needs and expectation expressed in the customer's language. Now, put yourself in the shoe of a coffee shop owner. So, what if you are a coffee shop, uh, a, a coffee shop manager? How can you, how can you make this was meaningful to your employees as they make and delivery coffee every day? You will have to translate them from the customer's language into language that your employees can relate to when they perform their work. Put another way, you have to translate the voice customer into critical to quality requirements or CTQs. So what are CTQs? What are CTQs? CTQs are performance characteristics of process, product, or service that are critically important to customers. CTQs are measurable in how good they need to be in order to certify the needs and expectations a customer can be determined and established. Back to a coffee example from the voice of customers or VOC, we know that customers don't want to wait too long, customers don't want uh, must add the sugar and they don't want cold coffee. We can translate don't want to wait too long to on time delivery the, uh, and uh, don't want to uh, don't want much add sugar to less uh, less add sugar and we can translate don't want coffee uh, don't want cold coffee to hot coffee when lily free so the critical to quality requirement or CTQs are on time delivery uh, less added sugar and hot sugar when lily free these CTQs these CTQs can be measured by order to delivery time in minutes weight of added sugar in rams and temperature temperature of coffee in degrees Celsius. We can specify how your shoppers perform on this metric in order to satisfy customers. In other words, we can determine the specifications and targets for the CTQ metric. In this example, CTQ target or specification may be uh, delivery time in 20 minutes or less, weight of added sugar, maybe less than 2 grams, and the coffee temperature doesn't fall below 30 degrees Celsius. To recap, CTQs are performance characteristics of a process, product, or service that are critically important to customers. CTQs are measurable and we can specify how good it needs to be in order to satisfy the needs and expectations of customers. If you are, uh, if you are managing a process, you benefit 
from learning city cues, which city cues you know what metric to monitor and how well they must perform to satisfy customers. In our example, uh, you want to monitor order to delivery time. You want to monitor the uh, added sugar and temperature of coffee. If you are doing a Sigma project, you definitely, uh, definitely benefit from learning about CTQs. The analyzed premiers of Sigma project is Y is a function of ice. In our example, one Y is coffee temperature. Second Y is added sugar, and the other is delivery time. And as are all factors affecting coffee temperature, added sugar, and delivery time, respectively. Y and C skills help you focus on measurements, analysis, and improvement efforts. CTQs provide customers focus for your project. And after project CTQs provide customer focus for your process on day in day out basis. And here are three steps to translate VLC to CTQs to project Y. We will talk more detail about this in the next lesson.